Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Poznanski's Beer Reviews. I know what you're wondering. Why do you have a Heineken? And Stella, don't you hate Euro Pale Lagers? I mean, no, I don't hate them. But I don't particularly like drinking them very much. I don't like the flavor. But I had an argument with a gentleman from work the other day. And I told him that Stella Artois and Heineken is very similar. Almost to the point where you can't detect the difference. And he was... So persistent on arguing me, saying, no, they're completely different beers. They taste completely different. She's like, Heineken sucks and Stella Artois is amazing. I'm like, no, they really taste the same. They're both this, they're both Euro Pale. And he just doesn't, he couldn't grasp the concept of what a Euro Pale Lager is. He's not very familiar with beers and stuff. So I figured today I'd do something I've never done before. And that's a side-by-side. -side. So two Euro Pale Lagers. We got Stella Artois. And Heineken. Heineken is brewed out of, uh, I think it's just brewed out of the Heineken Brewery out of Amsterdam. Brewed and bottled by Heineken Virgin, Amsterdam, Holland. <clears throat> um, this beer is, I have it here. Five percent alcohol by volume, as what Beer Advocate says at least about it. And here's uh, Stella is also five percent alcohol by volume. Both ingredients is water, hops, barley malt, and yeast. Both for both both beers. These are both Euro Pale Lagers. Stella Artois is brewed out of uh, I think this. <clears throat> it's actually brewed out of in, for out of InBev that major uh inter um, international brewery that owns Budweiser so this is also brewed with water hops barley and yeast uh for Stella on rate beer it gets a 10 overall and an 88 in the style so that's saying these critics don't like the style like me I don't like the style but for the style it's 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 good for what it is but the style sucks that's why it gets a 10 for a beer overall and, and Beer Advocate it gets a 3 out of 5. For Heineken, it gets a 2.72 2 on Beer Advocate. And for Rate Beer, it gets a 47 in the style and a 4 overall. So we're going to do a side-by-side -side right here. I'm going to take this stuff off so it doesn't get in my beer. I don't know why they do this. Um, I saw... When I pick this up, they have, like, in the case, there's, like, they want you to use that special Stella glass. I'm going to use my pint glass, you know. So. Stella is going to be on my right. I think it's going to be on the camera left. Now, as with green bottles, it can lead to skunkiness. Because it lets in a lot of sunlight that can fuck with the hops. So... All right, Stella Heineken. I think Heineken might be a tad, literally, uh, like maybe a little, little tad darker. It's so small; it's not even, it's not even there. Like it's a hair darker. Okay, for Stella, it's got a nice pillowy, frothy head that's sticking around where Heineken is, seems to be fading away a lot faster, whereas Stella's pretty much sticking around. For the nose on Stella, it's got a grassy, skunky, Little sweet barley malt on the nose, although it's mild. For Heineken, which is the head is basically almost gone now. A little bit more sweeter aroma, a little less skunky. Still some skunk. Get that Gyro Pale Lager scent out of both of them. Back to Stella. Yes, both have that Euro Pale Lager just scent. You you know what it is. It's a very sweet, malty, candy flavor, which is one reason I don't like these beers very much. Um, 
Head's almost pretty much gone on that beer. Whereas Stella, it's still a little round, though it's fading a little quickly. Um, barely any hot presence in the Heineken. Stella seems almost the same. Barely any hot presence. Let's start with the Stella. Cheers, guys. Now, I'm sure I I believe that these breweries don't use any adjuncts, but I can swear I'm tasting a little corn in this. Sweet barley malt up front. There, it has a very you can taste the hops in the back and the finish. Very bitter on the finish. Sweet more up. It does leave a little bit of an aftertaste. Finish is quite dry. Let's go to Heineken. No more head left. Okay. Heineken. A little bit sweeter malt notes. Less bitter. There's almost no aftertaste. It's much more cleaner than the Stella. Back to the Stella. Both taste almost identical, literally. And if you think these taste completely different, then there's something wrong with your palate. Or maybe not. I don't know. Like, as an experienced beer drinker, I don't really drink these anymore. Um, these are light-tasting beers. I used to, before I discovered craft beer, I used to drink Heineken. It used to be my go-to beer. I used to think it was the most bitter shit in the world. Uh, this doesn't really taste bitter at all. Little tiny bitterness up front, but it fades away fast. Sweet barley malt notes. No head left. This is a little bit like a little sprinkle on top. That's it. Stella. Okay, so color wise, the Heineken is a little hair darker. Just a hair. Literally a hair. Both of it looks like very light color. Stella, little nice little nice lacing on the glass. That's one thing I've noticed from Stella whenever I had it. Last time I had Stella was a few months ago at a bar. I was pretty drunk at the time, though, so I don't really... Like Pink Floyd says, I don't know. I was really drunk at the time. Um, but both of these beers taste almost identical. The Stella has a bit more, to me, a bit more corn flavor. I, I don't know if there's, it doesn't taste like there's any adjuncts in the Heineken, but I'm almost certain I'm picking up some kind of corn or adjunct flavor in the Stella. That's just me. I do know that they merged with Budweiser, so they might be exchanging some ingredients. I don't know. That's probably where maybe that adjunct flavor is coming from. Whereas Heineken, I don't taste any adjuncts. I do taste the, the barley malt. 
No hot, no, uh, no corn, barely any hot presence in both of them. Stella has a bittering finish, whereas Heineken's pretty smooth and clean throughout the whole ride. It's also a little dry in the back end for the Stella. Um, I don't particularly like either of these beers, but I just figured I'd do a side-by-side. -side just to, you know... Yeah, so Heineken's a lot... It's more balanced, I would say. It's a lot more... So they're not 100% identical. I would say, but they're 95% identical. Uh, do they taste completely the same? Completely as in 100%? No, but do they taste pretty much similar? Yeah. Um, they're both Euro pair of lagers. They both... They both pretty much taste... I guarantee you... If I switch these, I can give this and say this is a Heineken and this is a Stella to a lay person, and they wouldn't tell uh, almost a hundred percent. I can give this to the guy that I had an argument with. Shout out to you, Christian Mark, uh, because uh, you were arguing with me about it. I guarantee you, I can give you the Heineken, pass it off as a Stella for you, and you would believe me. And I guarantee you, I can give you the Stella and pass it off for the Heineken, and you would believe me, and you'd still say, and you would you would say the Heineken actual Heineken beer is better, thinking that it's actually Stella. Because I, I, it, that's how similar they taste. And to a lay person, for an experienced beer drinker like myself, Jay, Hoggy, uh, Greg, you could definitely tell the difference. But to a lay person, you would not tell the difference. So anyway, that's it for this side by side review um, of a. Uh, Bland beer, beers uh, that I particularly don't like. Uh, if I want like a light beer, I would I would go for like a Budweiser or something. First of all, it's cheaper, and this is very this is over. I mean, these are overhyped. Heineken not so much. He Heineken's a little less over. Stella's overhyped quite a lot in my area. Everyone loves Stella in my area for some reason, and they jack up the damn fucking. Pr it's like. Thirteen dollars for a six pack of this shit. The fuck, really? It's it's nothing special. Both taste very watery. The little subtle differences. This leaves a little bit more of an aftertaste. Stella is more of an after, a bittering aftertaste, and it's also dry. Whereas. Heineken might be a little dry on the back end, but it's a smooth finish without any aftertaste. Anyway, that's it for this review, guys. As always, if you like the reviews, please rate, comment, subscribe, and request. And we'll see you next time on Posnanski Beer Reviews.